Well, as everybody knows, youth sports are huge in our area. And one of the fastest growing sports around is rugby, thanks to the hard work at Rugby Oregon. It's a game that's open to boys and girls of all ages. I like tackling and getting dirty and all that. Cheyenne Briggs grew up watching her older brother and sister play rugby. And when she was just in fourth grade, Cheyenne decided to give it a shot. I've been waiting for like years to be able to tackle other people. Cheyenne's mom and dad spent time living in Scotland where they were introduced to rugby. And I love that the coaches, a lot of them are native players, you know, from South Africa, uh, Scotland, New Zealand. Well done, girls. Well, Leah, you got to support that. You got to support them. Roaming the sideline during week one of this new rugby season is Stuart Magorian, who knows a lot about the sport. Good stuff, well done. Good stuff, really good. Uh, originally from Scotland, I'm from Glasgow, uh, just outside, where I, I played a lot of rugby and I've been all over the world playing, uh, traveling around. Like I say, it's a global sport. I played a lot of years professionally and I just want to give all the information I have um, um, to these kids and, and they love it. Rugby Oregon started in 1999 and has developed into one of the nation's most successful rugby organizations. They're able to attract kids of all ages from Oregon and Southwest Washington. The rise in our youth game, so anything elementary or middle school, has actually really got going uh, three years ago or three or four years ago. So from starting from six to eight teams, now we have close to 40 teams. Troy Hall is a director of development and high performance at Rugby Oregon and has been instrumental in growing the sport. He's introduced rugby to thousands of boys and girls in PE classes and also started a spring league for the kids. Something that's, I think we envisioned a few years ago, but to see it become a reality is something that's, um, me personally, it's very rewarding. I hit somebody. Cheyenne walked off the pitch for a little treatment, but it didn't take long for her to get back into the game. Most of the time, the girls are actually a lot tougher than the boys. Some parents might think twice about letting their son or daughter play tackle rugby, but not Cheyenne's mom. I'm not too worried about injuries. Um, as long as she's having fun and re relatively it's safe because they teach the kids how to tackle properly. There's laws in the game that allow uh, the players to be as safe as possible, like tackling to the side, only being able to tackle the person with the ball. Um, and nothing above the armpits in terms of tackle. There's also something else these girls are learning from rugby. Shows these girls that they have, they, they're strong, they're strong, and they can grow up to be strong women and raise strong women. It's not even about the competition, it's more just the kids out there playing. You see the smiles on their faces and it's, it doesn't matter who wins and loses. It's just, they're out there learning the game of rugby and, and making some new friends, so I'm excited for the future for sure. Now, if you or your child are interested in rugby, it is not too late to get in on the action. Four training sessions are required before the coaches will allow the kids to play tackle. For more, we posted a link to Rugby Oregon on our website, coin.com slash game on.